You're listening to the Get Meal Prep Show, a podcast about meal planning strategies, improving your nutrition, and getting dinner on the table. You know that this is the podcast for you if you've ever thought, oh no, it's three o'clock and I have no idea what's for dinner. We dive deep into meal planning methods and meal planning strategies that help you prepare healthy home-cooked meals that don't leave you feeling like a slave in the kitchen. I'm your host, Susan Watson, registered dietitian, lifestyle nutrition coach, and meal planning strategist for the online course, Get Meal Prepped. My co-host, Andrea Hardy, is a registered dietitian and she helps people improve the relationship with food. Together, we have formed the Get Meal Prepped Method that helps people improve their eating habits by cooking real food and not relying on convenience food products. Aside from our online course, you can work with us via our one-on-one coaching package services. You can find links to our packages in the show notes below this recording. We are so happy to have you here today and share this episode with you. If you find this episode helpful in your journey to become healthier, we would love to hear from you too. So please let us know how your meal planning is going by leaving a review on iTunes, subscribing to our channel on YouTube, or sharing this episode with friends or coworkers, or maybe even family. It's really easy to leave a review. You just leave a review right from your podcast app. Simply search the Get Meal Prep Show, click reviews, and then write a review. We would love to hear from you. One last thing before we pop into this segment is I want to tell you about a tool that you can download at the end of this episode. If you look down in the show notes, I'm giving away our Healthy Habit Tracker. It's a great tool that you can use that you can implement all the different health habits that we talk about in this episode. So just go below the show notes, you'll see the link, it's called Healthy Habit Tracker, and you can download it and start using it right away. And if you find it useful, make sure you let us know by leaving a comment or a review. Thanks so much, let's get to it now. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Get Meal Prep Show. Today I'm gonna be talking about why setting New Year's resolutions is not the greatest idea this time of year. Instead of setting New Year's resolutions, I wanna help people form healthy habits. So resolutions and goals, they rely on motivation, inspiration, and willpower, even sometimes self-discipline. And this can be really hard to find when getting started. And really, sometimes it's what's holding people back from achieving their goals. So forming good habits is actually fairly easy to do. And once it becomes part of your life, you won't even notice it at all or find it difficult. The key really is to have to start small and break it down. For example, you know, if you want to break that bad habit of eating out for lunch during the work week, It can be really hard and it's kind of a goal that has no starting point. It's great that you want to stop eating out for lunch every day, but what are you going to do to actually get started? So the best way to do this, to break this bad habit, is to form a new habit, like cooking up extra supper and packing it up for lunch the next day. You compare this habit with your kitchen cleanup and, you know, lunch is done. No more hurrying around in the morning deciding what you're going to make for lunch or just deciding that you can't figure it out now, you're just gonna pick up lunch somewhere out during the day. Today, I wanna share with you a global TV interview that I did that talks a little bit about why I feel habits are more important than resolutions. So I'm gonna break here and put on the episode. I hope you enjoy it. can be an inspiring time to work on new habits and today we're talking to registered dietitian Susan Watson from A Little Nutrition with some tips to eat healthier. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. And I think we should start by talking about your thoughts on resolutions and if that's something that we should actually be doing. Yeah, you know, this time of year we want to we hear about setting goals and New Year's resolutions and I think it's a little bit misleading because goals and resolutions can be really hard to do. They repl- they they want to have uh, willpower and uh, motivation and inspiration and all of that can be hard to get started with. With. Whereas I like to talk about forming habits instead because habits can be broken down really small and they're easy and once you start doing them over and over again they become part of your life and suddenly these small little changes that you're working on amount to a lot bigger changes versus you know a big lofty goal that's hard to get started at. So what are some ways we can develop and work on these habits throughout the year? 
there's lots of things you can do, but the key is to break it down. And one of the things that I like to use is a habit tracker. Okay. So I'll pick an idea like um, somebody might set a resolution of I don't want to eat out at lunch, you know, at work. Mm -hmm. I want to um, be healthier that way. But that's a huge goal. Break it down. So one thing you can do is um, cook extra supper at dinner time and pack it for lunch. So a very easy, small thing that you can do. And if you use a habit tracker, you can go ahead and check off each day that you've you know, achieved this little task. And eventually you'll have this chain that's very motivating to look at. Okay. I like this because it's visible and then you're really just trying to help yourself and you can see when you veer from that habit. Yes. What are some other yeah. things that we can do in terms of preparing for that moment where we're starving, yes. we're tired, yes. and we're just going to go <laughs> for the vending machine or whatever's downstairs? Yeah, so having those small little habits are great. So one thing that you can do is pack a balanced snack, protein and a carb, to have th two or three hours before supper. Have that with you. Um, have a green and orange vegetable every day. What a simple thing that you can do to track every day. Carry a water water bottle with you so you stay hydrated and um, a lot of these you want to make small changes over the long period of time. I like that having a green and orange yes. vegetable. Can you elaborate on why those specifically are so important? Well if you have the, the nutrients from a green or, or green vegetable and an orange vegetable pack a lot of nutrients behind them and you know it doesn't really matter whether it's a carrot or a sweet potato they have the same nutrients so it's just a simple way of thinking about getting those nutrients in. One green, one orange vegetable, track it every day. Okay and I think it's important to talk about why we're talking about this. Yes. There's all this talk in the news about eating healthy. You hear it in different outlets as well, yeah. the importance of a healthy lifestyle. Yep. But why should we consider this? You know, um, one of the things that I like to talk about is, you know, stepping away from eating out and eating all those convenience foods that are everywhere. They're in our environment, wherever we go. And the reason why is if we're eating out, hey, we're consuming help. much more sodium, fat, and salt than we actually need in a meal. Um, and when it comes to calories, it's usually about three times the amount of calories that we need per meal. So if you think about that over the long haul, making a small change of packing your lunch over the long haul can actually make a big difference over, over a year at least. And when we're looking at budgeting for the new year too, I mean, this yes. can be money, huge, huge yes. savers. You can save a ton of money as well. Think of how much it costs to eat out one meal versus how much it costs to prepare a little bit of leftovers for dinner time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All great tips. If we do want some more help and maybe some professional expertise, yes. if we are feeling a little bit intimidated and in taking these next steps yeah. to form habits, where can we go, Susan? You can go to a littlenutrition.com. Okay. Thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us with all of that. So thanks for listening. I hope you really enjoyed that segment. I had a great time going on TV and hanging out with my friends at Global TV. So just to touch base again on some things that you can do that are great healthy habits that are all trackable. Here's my top tips. Have two cups of vegetables at lunch and supper. A really easy thing to do. Try to have a balanced snack two hours before supper every day and this is going to prevent your hangry want to rip the fridge door off when you get home from work. Try to stay hydrated throughout the day by carrying a water bottle with you and tracking how much water you have throughout the day. How about try using smaller plates for your meal or choose a green and orange vegetable every day. This is a great thing to track. And lastly, the one that I think would be a great thing to start trying to do is try to implement a meatless Monday one day a week. Now you're not having to track this every single day, you're just having to track one small change once a week. So I hope that this information was helpful for you. I have a great resource for you at the end of this episode. I have our healthy habit tracker that you can download and you can start tracking all of the great health changes that you wanna make. Just make sure that they're small and that they're easy to do, but meaningful enough to have an impact on your life. So just make sure you go to the show notes below and you'll see the link where you can download it. Thanks for hanging out.